is the only power. Dark side. Two. One. Zero. Michael Burhan here from Nerd Genius and all those other spunky stuff. I got a bit real with you guys last week, so I've decided to take this time to answer a few questions, and I'm, I'm doing so by making a rebuttal video um, for my good friend Dave Wade, aka Lawn Boy 1975. Now, he was talking about the fact that certain studios, for instance, have a they, they keep spamming people's YouTube accounts, basically asking for new members, etc. I, unlike most others, don't really check my inbox very much anymore, and practically one of the reasons was because of this exact case. I dealt with a situation where I had a YouTube channel called The Ranters Network come to me and ask me to make videos for them and stating that I would get a partnership at the end of it. In the end, I basically told the guy where to go, stated to him that he has no videos on his channel, firstly. Secondly, if I were going to make videos, then there would have to be some sort of agreement in place so I could actually earn revenue from those videos. And thirdly, why should I create content for somebody who basically hasn't done anything for me? He's using me as a vehicle to start his channel up, so I said no. Um, but it turned into a very heated argument where he started calling me names, and so I left it at that and just basically told him where to go and blocked him. Pretty much the, the same situation what Dave is going through. Um, but I also want to lay the counter argument. There were, there were good or bad points of, of joining a network, of course. There, there's a few uh, retro animals, people that we know, who have joined up with various networks and have ended up getting in situations um, beyond their control, like being held to ransom for certain contracts, where most studios leave it open for you to leave whenever you like. Others tend to put in a small print that you can't go anywhere, despite signing the contract thinking that you're under good terms. And the, the biggest thing that's come from it as well is they state, they, they were put into place, so to speak, to help you um, deal with Google's devices. You know, every time a copyright claim has been made, um, you, you hope to get something done so that you can actually resolve your situation. Now, with me, however, I find it's that a lot of these studios have found a way to abuse the system and are now filing copyright claims on videos that are not, are not theirs, basically. Um, one of the primary culprits is a YouTube channel by the name, and I'll, I'll get this one for you guys, because they actually have um, made a copyright ID on one of my videos, um, and I'm not very happy about it. Um, and I'm going to name and shame them because I think they're a pile of shit for even trying to, you know, put me in that position um, and, and file a claim on a video of mine, which was my E3 Ubisoft, the E3 Day 2 Ubisoft review. And the company in question were that call, are called the Content Factory. Now, I'm, I'm going to put a, a big sort of fuck you to the content factory and just want to let you guys know on something you have no right to my videos you have no right no access to my videos michael burhan does not permit you to have any access to those videos michael burhan does not work for you michael burhan has nothing to do with you you cannot take someone's video lay claim to it or any of the projected images in the video because one i have a signed waiver from ubisoft allowing me to use their footage so that's one Two, the footage that you're trying to lay claim for was a new up-and-coming car game that Ubisoft is putting together. And that game is called The Crew, as you just heard there. Now, you guys, I've checked you out, are a YouTube partner. You're a partner service. You have no access to any of Ubisoft's content. Ubisoft does not work for you. If you have partners on your channel that do videos 
talking about Ubisoft stuff and reviewing it, you've probably gone through the same stages that I have in order to make sure that your videos are okay to be monetized. The fact is they have made this claim and I've basically been providing them with revenue for one month. One solid month I've been providing you assholes with re revenue. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to name and shame you because this practice needs to stop. So in uh, kind of a sort of in a reply to Lawn Boy, in a reply to you Dave, I want to actually make that point. Is it pointless that these channels are doing this? Yes. Or do these channels do anything in terms of help out certain people and, and make their channel work and, and allows them to expand their audience? Yes, they do. But they can also hinder you as well. And it also gives very annoying people who have access to these copyrights standings and all these YouTube equipment that you can use to lay claims on someone else's channel they could do it in masses, they can do it in droves now. So it gives you a lot of power in your hands, but it can also give it to the very irresponsible. That's the problem. I don't mind companies such as Maker Studios, for instance, and I'll give a very big shout out to Maker Studios, who have now bought out Blip TV, believe it or not. Um, I, I give a big shout out to them, they have helped me out, and I attempted to sign them at my own volition, of course. Um, and you know, I got far, but at the same level, if anybody comes to me and asks me to do certain things, like one, give a shout out to their video, which I won't do unless I like what they do, two, subscribe to their channel, which I won't do unless I like their content, and three, um, emails me and asks me to do the videos for them or make stuff for them, I won't do it, because in the end, we as human beings have free will. If I like your stuff, I won't ask you to pay me money so that I can promote you. I will just go ahead and promote you. If you ask me to do something for you, I will do it out of my own volition. I won't do it because I want to basically promote the crap out of your channel for you for one reason or another. At the end of the day, we're all nice people. Dave's a great guy, you know, uh, despite his very angry demeanor at times. He's a great guy um, and has some smuttering good looks, of course. And, you know, the, the fact that someone can actually piss him off like this, because I've seen him in that video, he looks angry. It's not worth it, you know, and, and there are countless amount of nutcases out there who thinks that they can make money off the backs of others. There's only one company that's actually hit that league in terms of making money off of other YouTubers, and that's Machinima. You know, Maker Studios have done a very good job too. But everybody else who wants to start this partnership thing up and think they can make money off of people's YouTube videos, be warned. Don't approach people, let them approach you. Because in the end, you make yourself sound really desperate, don't you? So there you go guys, that's my video, and that's my two cents. I'll be coming back with another gaming video uh, later on this week, of course, and also another some politics video as well. And uh, I want to have a big thank you and, and a great big shout out to everybody who commented, liked and came to me um, after I did that big video on my YouTube channel about depression because the, <clears throat> the fact that so many people added me on Facebook, added me on Google Plus, um, you know, made comments and talked to me about stuff like this, I, I'm not going to name names of course because you know who you are. Uh, I want to say a great big thank you to you guys because you, I, I want to let you people know that you're not alone and, and nobody is alone and to each and every one of you who think that you're dealing with like certain issues alone, don't. I'm here. <laughs> um, and so is everybody else in the YouTube gaming community. The one thing I have to say which is a positive that Justin's left of each and every one of us is we support one another and uh, that's a good thing. So there you go guys, um, I will see you again for some more videos, uh, I'm going to be posting this shop for hire this month, I know I keep saying it every month, it's just, uh, my life has been getting ahead of me. Um, I will be posting it, we will be seeing more fluid uh, sets of episodes coming through of course unless it's like this one where I need to have actors and sets and green screen and all that stuff, um, so you'll be seeing a lot more of it. So there you go guys, and just remember as always, this is Michael Burhan saying I've got gameplay. Have you?
Norman Boys Post, 1975.